But you worked for his father, is that how I this, did. Yeah. What, I worked what did you do for, for President his George H.W. Bush. Well, I was the White House Soviet specialist at the end of the Cold War. Mm -hmm. And uh, it really doesn't get better than that. Uh, so I was there for the fall of the Berlin Wall. Um, I was there as Eastern Europe was liberated. It was really quite an exciting time. Well, for somebody who is a Soviet specialist, mm -hmm. what, what better experience in the world, in time, in the universe can Absolutely. you have than that? Absolutely, I never thought I'd see. What, what, do, you, what do you make of, the, uh, of Russia now and the, the remains or what have become the independent uh, countries of the Soviet Union? Well, I'm saddened by what's recently happened in Russia. I really thought that uh, perhaps the democratic institutions would start to mature in Russia after the collapse the Soviet Union, but uh, Vladimir Putin's decision to come back to the presidency with really not even an inkling that uh, they care much about the process for mm -hmm. doing that uh, is a kind of sad step backward for Russia. I remember there was a uh, moment when uh, your former boss, George W. Bush, H.W.'s uh, son, had an exchange with uh, Putin, and he said he looked him in the eyes, he looked, what was that? Uh, that well, he said that he looked him in the eyes and he saw his soul, and you know, it was one of those awkward moments because the president was asked, do you trust him? It's mm -hmm. their first meeting. If you say no, that's not a very good way to get off to a good start. Right. And he said, uh, well, I looked into his uh, eyes and I knew right that moment. Uh, some have said I stiffened about it. But uh, Putin was a very different person in those first two years. Right. You know, Russia was extremely helpful to us in Afghanistan early on, very helpful in the war on terror. It really is as authoritarianism started to take hold at home and as they got more nervous about their periphery, Georgia, Ukraine, uh, places, independent mm -hmm. countries now that had been a part of the Russian Empire that uh, we ran into I, trouble. Is it a mistake to think that Russia ever wants to see things go our way? Oh, I think there are times when our interests are in common. They have no desire to uh, see terrorists succeed. They have a terrorism problem of their own. Uh, they have no desire to see a nuclear-armed Iran because Iran uh, makes all kinds of trouble for Russia in the south of that country. So there are some times when our interests come together. They usually uh, diverge when we talk about countries like Ukraine or Georgia where Russia thinks that it still has uh, special privileges. Do you, do you know Vladimir Putin? Have you met Vladimir? Yes, I have. What's your sweetheart. impression of the guy? <laughs> uh, the, the fact is uh, that he is an old KGB colonel that believes that he wants to restore the Russian Empire and that's what this is all about and that's why Ukraine is the key uh, country. Uh, somebody once said, uh, and it's been repeated many times, Russia with Ukraine is an empire, Russia without Ukraine is a country. By the way, I predict it that this would happen mm -hmm. because he wasn't going to give up this naval base in Crimea called Sevastopol, which by the way, wars have been fought over because that's its access to the Mediterranean. And uh, the, the moral of the story is we just have to understand who he is and what he is. He's not a guy that's interested in democracy. He's got a, he's a, he's a oil and gas company uh, that's part of a country. He wants to expand the Russia, through whether it be in Moldova where they've got Russian troops, Georgia where they've got Russian troops, the Baltics and other uh, countries in the region. And um, we just have to understand him for what he is. Well, help and me out take with a, this. Of uh, the uh, president of the Ukraine, Yanukovych, yep. uh, flees and, and had a nice her. billion dollar, uh, uh, hundred million dollar home. Nice man of the big, people. yeah. Yep. And he goes to Russia, so he's hiding out. And now, was that all orchestrated by the Russians? No, he was forced out. He was forced out by the Ukrainian people. That right, were, but then, then yeah. the so then he went to Putin Russia. Sees because this as a reason then to, to go into to Crimea, saying, "Well, you, you have no valid uh, elected." leader exactly. uh, so it's, it's uh, up for grabs exactly now, do they they want to annex the uh, Crimean Peninsula or they take the entire Ukraine that's the question I predicted he would take Crimea because of Sevastopol now I think the question is is does he try to kind of have a de facto partition of yeah. eastern Ukraine and I don't know the answer to that but there are many things we could do, including sanctions on these, these corrupt people that are around them uh, that m makes it hard for them to do business with the West. Their kids go to school in London. Uh, we could make their life very unpleasant for them, and there's a lot of other things we can do. We're still the most powerful nation in the world. Now, will, will he hide behind this notion of a referendum yeah, uh, in that's Crimea? That's an old trick. The, the, the Hitler used to use that, march into some place, have a, have a referendum. Uh, the referendum they're going to have, and I think it's this Sunday, won't be quite like the North Korean <laughs> election, but I can assure you what the outcome's going to be. I promise you what Because it it's be. a heavy concentration of Russian no, citizens. It's because in they'll rig the election. Rig the election. A, lot of the, a lot of the Ukraine, even though they're pro-Russian, they don't want to be part of Russia. Mm -hmm. They look 
to, to Europe and see what life is like there, and they look at Russia and they see what it's like there. Now, it, it, you're president of the United States. This yeah. happens. What, what do you do? Other than the sanctions, it, it, nothing uh, else to be say done? Say we're going to start missile defense again in Poland and the Czech Republic, uh, have NATO uh, maneuvers in the Baltic countries. Say we'll accelerate Moldova and Georgia into, the, uh, into NATO. Um, uh, I, there's so many things that we could do. Kick them out of the G8. Putin loves to strut on the world stage. Mm -hmm. Throw him out. Don't don't uh, let him uh, play that uh, key role. I, I heard a story from George Bush. George Bush was in. Uh, Putin was in Washington, and little Barney. Remember, little Barney comes out. Putin looks at him. Then George Bush is in St. Petersburg. Out comes this wolfhound, Russian wolfhound, and Putin says, "See, he's big and strong, not like Barney." Mm. Now, I, is that weird or what? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, really? Yeah. I mean, this guy is a megalomaniac, and I think we just have to. And I'm not talking about Cold War or anything like that. But you just have to understand him for what he is, and not think that you can do business with him like you do with other uh, world leaders. And his impression of the United States now is uh, that, that we are weak. That we are that we are weak. In, yeah. in fact, you you believe that the, that's where all of this is coming from. He I feels like now is the time is. to be. Yeah. I think when the president of the United States said, if they use chemical weapons in Syria, it'll cross a red line, and we'll have to attack, and then didn't. I think that mm -hmm. sent a message around the world. Within six months, I think there's going to be a confrontation in the South China Sea between Japan and China. All of these people are encouraged, but again, the strongest nation in the world, still the best country in the world. And I think we can get through it. And uh, we first need to make sure that, that Putin pays a price for what he's already done. And we don't want him to do anything more. Mm -hmm. uh, was it strange that right after the Olympics, where he's uh, very pleased and proud to show the world what they've accomplished, that this, take, this takes place? Or, or does this indicate that he just is not concerned with what people think of him? I think both. Uh, it was interesting that some of the troops that were protecting Sochi moved right into Crimea. Mm -hmm. Same, same people. Um, and we just need to, again, understand that we are in a world where Mr. Putin wants to expand his, his empire. I heard that he was at his treatise at the, in the KGB school that he went to was how Russia will restore its greatness. He said many times, the worst disaster of the 20th century was the breakup of the, of the Soviet Union. So we just have to understand him and treat him accordingly. You That's were in the, the Ukraine not so yeah, long 300, ago? 300,000 people in a square. Take a look at this. There's 200,000 people in that square in the freezing cold, and all they want is to be like Europe. They don't want to be like uh, Russia, and they are marvelous and wonderful people, and a number of those people were, died in the crackdown that, that came after that.